Hey there, gang. We're going to go ahead and start a demonstration on setting up an email distribution list from start to finish using GoDaddy domain and Mailgun. So first you have to have a GoDaddy domain and you can register a domain with GoDaddy. So we've already got a domain that we're going to use for this demonstration and I'll just sign in. Uh, domain registration takes about five minutes, but I've already registered one. Most people already have a domain name, so we're not going to sit here and walk through how domain registration works and you'll need to be in the DNS settings so you hit the three dots here on the domain list and then you click manage DNS now we'll just hold on to this screen for a minute because we'll be coming back here then we need to register for a mailgun account so I'm gonna go ahead and click get started I do have a mailgun account but I'm going to go ahead and uh, register another one because I'd like to do this from start to finish so that you've got the full Monty on how this works. Okay, the password manager tried to fill in the, fill in the password, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, register a new account and fill in the password. And then I use a password manager to manage all the passwords. And so I go ahead and uh, register an account and I click create an account. And then I will wait until it finishes the registration process. So that's done. Okay, and I'm not going to update the password. I already have a password. So now the next step is we need to activate the account. So I'm going to go to my inbox and I'm in my inbox and then it gives me an email confirmation saying that you know, I've received an email about uh, Mailgun confirming that I did set up a new account and it gives me an API key as well. And then I need to add and verify a domain. So you'll need to activate the email that you received from Mailgun. I'm presuming that I'm going to get another email, which I just did. Here it is. Okay. So another email came in saying, hi, thanks for choosing Mailgun. Please confirm your email address by clicking below, verify your email address. And I'm going to do that. And then it's asking for a mobile number so I can send a verification code. No problem. Happy to do that as well. And then I got the code on my mobile device. So that's done. Okay, so now the account is set up. That's all there is to it. To build an email list, you would click on sending and then you would click on uh, domains. And then you're gonna be asked to register a domain, right? So you have to add a domain. So I need to upgrade. And I'll need to add, I guess I need to add a credit card, which I probably have to do here. Okay, let me do that. Okay, looking up my American Express information. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is pause, and then we'll come right back after I finish putting in the card info. Okay, I've gone ahead and completed my American Express card addition to upgrade the account. That's all done. Now we need to go ahead and uh, click on sending, click on uh, add a new domain. And then let's go back to adding that GoDaddy account. So we're going to need we're going to need that GoDaddy information. So let's go ahead and put the GoDaddy info in. And we're going to use Spencer Bakery, it's just a, you know, fictitious it actually is a Spencer Bakery, but uh, I'm just setting it up because it's a, a domain that I'm not going to be needing to use for any other purpose. So we now have added the domain and then we need to add some records. So we're going to enter the text file records here. So I click the copy option. I'm going to add a text record here in the domain. And you could either use the at symbol or you can just, you know, put in the domain name. I, I actually will use the at symbol typically, but just for this demonstration, let's go ahead and just try it this way. Put the time to live as half an hour. 
and then let's go here. Actually, I'm going to use the at symbol. Change my mind because I see that all the other entries are the at symbol. At symbol just means the domain name itself. And then click add and put another text record in. And let's go ahead and get that. Okay. And make this third half an hour. All right, and let's try adding these other MX records. The first one and the second one are both 10, 10 on the time to live. These MX records host and 10 and half an hour. And let's do the other one. Okay, let's add the uh, C name, which is also important. Email dot. Okay, so that would that would be add, and then it's a C name. And let me double check it. It's going to be email. Okay, let me make sure we don't already have one. It's called email. We do not. Okay, I believe I've done all this correctly. Not 100% sure because I don't do domain uh, DNS changes often, so let me go ahead and verify them. All right, it's not quite refreshed yet. It says the first two are good, but it's still waiting to verify the last couple. So let's see if that's been, okay, good. So at this point, uh, we are completely 100% done with setting it up in seven minutes. So we've set up the domain information. We've set up the um, the uh, you know the uh, mail gun. Typically, when you do email marketing, you're going to want to use a subdomain, and many people do that to avoid having their primary domain name get like spamified in in the RBLs and different computer systems. So what you might do is just set up a separate domain for email called you know. Uh, you know, Burbank city email.com or something like that, or email dot Burbank's, you know, whatever you want to call it, something that's not going to be the same as your website. We're now done with the domain uh, setup, and now let's make a mailing list. So we go to the mailing list sections under sending, and let's make a, an email. It's a very simple process. You, you click create mailing list, and you're going to give that, you know, mailing list some kind of a name. So in this case, we might call it, um, you know, cup. In this case, it's maybe cup, you know, conditional use permit. Or it could be, we might call the email address community, you know, whatever you want to call it. And this would be, you know, Burbank community uh, list. And then you would say this, this is a mailing list for emailing, uh, you know, residents in xyz community okay you could actually call it you know community mp for magnolia park or whatever you want to call it then you want to set a um, access level now you do have the ability to make it a broadcast but that gets a little tricky because you have to authenticate to send to it using an smtp server you can make it uh, members only so people emailing from a certain email address or you can make it a public email I tend to believe that it's smarter to just make the email members only for this kind of a list because only people that you've actually put on the list can respond to the list right so the reply re preferences could either be people on the list which would be a no-no because then you've got you know people going back and hitting reply to all and everybody's going to get pull their hair out or you can click sender which would only hit replies to sender and then you click add the mailing list you can make these changes anytime it's no problem now we want to add recipients now to add recipients you can just upload a CSV file with just the uh, email address which is what we do we never put their name because everything's a form letter anyway and it 
it's important content. People don't need it to be personalized. It's community content, right? So for a city, you don't need to say, dear Christopher, it just wastes time and nobody cares. They're not, they're not going to get warm and fuzzy over government email. Okay. The main thing is to get the information in their hands. So we just put a, you know, a CSV file into um, a format like Excel and just save it as a CSV. You know, we might have an email database. We might use SQL. In our case, we use lots of databases. Uh, we might export it at that point. But if you just want to see how this works, we can do that and you just put in, you know, let's say I've got an email address I want to add. You can add a bunch of them. You can upload a bunch of them. And now you have, you know, an email address. If you want to delete it, you can remove it if they ask to be removed and so forth. Now all you have to do to send to this email address you will when you send to this email address you will then be sending an email to everybody that's on the list it's that simple so you you would just send an email you compose an email and you would send that email there and when you do it'll go into their inbox and whatever message you want to you know cup application hearing whatever dot 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 and then put the content here Okay, it's that simple. And in 11 minutes, less than 12 minutes, you can set up a completely cheap, it's 80 cents a thousand to email, very, very cheap, and save the city tons of postage. So anybody that wants to send out emails, this is the way you can do it. It's very simple and easy. Hope it helps.